Hello, my name is Alistair Hopkins and I'm the head at Casey Grammar School. Over the next few minutes, I'll be explaining to you how GCSE options work here, uh, some of the things you should be considering as you make those choices. And finally, just looking to reassure you that whichever choices you make, they will be the right choices for you. So briefly, as you know, uh, GCSEs are now graded from nine down to U. A four is considered to be a pass, but a five is seen as a good pass. And you can see in this uh, chart here how the 987 correspond to A star and A, 654 to B and to C. At Caster, the majority of our students will take 10 GCSEs. Some who are taking the additional mass qualification will take 11, while a few students will take nine. If you are taking nine, you will have had a chance to discuss that option with the SEN department. But for the purposes here, all students will take 10 GCSEs. There's a parents evening on Wednesday, the 24th of February, which will be held remotely, where I'd encourage you to have a conversation with those option subjects, which we'll say later, where you're thinking about taking that as a, as a subject. It used to be we did 11 GCSEs here. A couple of years ago, we moved down to 10. Uh, we gave more time to maths and science. Uh, 10 is plenty to do. Uh, so we're trying to maximize the potential rather than spreading ourselves across uh, 11 subjects. Uh, there's a study period now in year 11, which we introduced for a bit of well-being, a chance for students to organize their time regarding the work they had to do. And as I've said, student welfare, very important that students feel they have time to breathe. And with more content in GCSEs, uh, 10 felt like a satisfactory number to study. So all students will do what we call the core subjects. So that's language literature for English, mathematics, the three sciences separately, uh, and they can select a language and a humanity subject. We also deliver something called the English Baccalaureate. Now, this is a core of five subjects uh, which are viewed as being uh, the indication of a good secondary school education. And these are the subjects that they are here in their various groupings. For the languages, students can select one from French, German or Latin. Clearly, they have to be studying that language in year nine. And for the humanities, they can select either geography or history. The remainder of their subjects uh, are selected from art, computing, D&T, French geography, German, history, Latin, music, GCSEP or religious studies. Students will select two to bring up their choices up to 10, but we ask them to identify three that they'd like to do. Uh, and then we will um, create a timetable based around that. For many, many, many students, we always enable them to do their first and second choice. Mr. Frost will contact you if a timetable in reasons we have to look at doing the third choice. So as I said, for languages, all students take at least one language, but they can take two. Uh, obviously, they have to have been studying those two in year nine and they would take their second option uh, as, a, as an option subject. Now, in terms of the advice you should receive, I think there are two questions to ask yourself. Do you have a definite career or higher education course in mind where you know that one of those GCSEs will really help you? But importantly, what is it you're interested in? What are your strengths? This, I think, is the most important question to ask because this is what will determine how much you will enjoy your GCSE subjects and how good you can be at those subjects. Other things to look out for, which should determine you not to choose something, are friends. Um, they're your GCSE, so you have to decide for yourself if you're going to take it. Rumours about certain subjects, so for instance, to take medicine at university, you don't need to do Latin now. And finally, family pressure. Sometimes parents can uh, request or ask or advise to take a certain subject because they wish they'd taken it. Remember, these are your GCSEs and it's important that you are wary of that because uh, when you're studying them, you need to be studying for the reasons that work out for you. Something else to consider 
is that some of our uh, subjects have non-examined assessments. These are what we used to call coursework in my day. Uh, but this gives you an idea here of the subjects where NEAs are part of it. So art is 60%, computing 20, D and T half the grade, music 60% and PE 40%. It's important that you take this uh, into account when selecting your GCSEs because even though we will set homework during the courses that you're going through, um, it will be the case that the NEA will often take up more the allotted homework time. So you need to plan ahead, you need to listen to your teachers and you need to think through your projects carefully. And obviously if you do select NEAs, it's important that you let school life carry on as normal. Um, there are lots of things happening at school that you should take advantage of uh, when we come back in September. D of E, sports activities, clubs. And I think a productive student is a student who's actually doing lots and lots of different things. So what should you be looking to do when you're choosing your GCSEs? Well, choose ones in which you're most likely to excel at, ones you're likely to enjoy and ones that play to your skill set. By that, I mean, if you like writing essay sub essays, then history should be a consideration. If you like working uh, on practical topics, then D&T. It's important as well that if you're looking to go into university, of which the majority of students here are, or even apprenticeships, it's important to think that these courses, these apprenticeships are looking at your overall GCSE outcomes. So you need to think carefully about what you want to study. Now, if you want some further help, Mr. Frost will be working at the timetable. Mrs. Ellaby will help with any pastoral matters. Or if you've got questions for me about choices or universities, you can contact me and I will do my best to help you. I hope that was useful and I wish you all the best as you're selecting your GCSEs.